not only so that it's nice and quiet and that we can concentrate on listening to the things that we want to be listening to. You can see right there, it's going to ask you if you got it. And um, you can say, I got it. But this way, we are going to make sure that whoever is on the screen is only the people who want to be seen and want to be sharing their exercises and their success and, and their motivation with people on YouTube. So I'm going to jump around here to the other side of the screen. Let's see if I can get it right on the first try. And I did. I got the right camera. Check that out, everybody. We got, it looks like some, some yoga poses that are going on here. And let's make sure this is the right spot. It is. All right, great. And remember, everybody, I'm going to be doing exercises today. I'm going to be doing some things standing up. I'm also going to be doing exercises where I'm going to be sitting down on a stability ball. Now, if you had a chair or a couch, or if maybe you use a chair for your day to day, we could also do things sitting down in a chair, even if it had armrests, even if you're laying down a lot of these exercises, we can get done. Remember, we always talk about hydration being so important. So I'm going to get my bottle of water and I'm going to get started with the first exercise of the workout is going to be hydration. And so let's go ahead and first let's have a, a nice sip of water. Get this going. All right. All right, everybody. Remember, when we drink water, we're putting that water not just into our bellies, but throughout our entire body. And it's very, very important that we drink lots of water when we are exercising. So let's see if we can get my buddy. He's normally sitting right here or right here, but his name is Chris. And uh, I miss him. And I would like to do maybe the breathing motto um, with him hanging out here next to me. And so I remember, I, I just sent him, sent him a video request and I haven't gotten, Oh, uh, we haven't gotten it back. Chris is don't be upset, Chris. Don't worry. If it, if it doesn't come through, we will get this going in just a moment. Let's give it just another moment here. Let's have another sip of water. I don't mind stalling because we got more people in the waiting room. Remember everybody today during our workout, we are going to work out using our body weight. We're going to maybe work out with some exercise equipment, things like a stick. This is a broomstick. Maybe things like, remember the kettlebell. This is one of Bernie's favorites here. So if Bernie's a leader today, you know, we'll have that kettlebell and uh, still no luck, Ben. I'm looking to see. Nope. That's all right. All right. Well, then I think. For the breathing motto, we are going to go with me. I'm going to do it. You going to do it with me, Nick? All right, let's bring Nick up. We'll put Nick right here next to me, and we'll get this breathing motto okay. kicking off here. Uh, remember, everybody, it's a Friday. We're going to get our workout started. We started with some water, and then we're going to do a head-to-toe warm-up. Our friend Carla, she might be joining us as a team leader. So now we got Nick right here. Nick, you got to unmute yourself, bud. Go ahead and hit that button. One more button to hit. Looking great today. We got blue shirt Friday going on. And Nick, uh, say something so we can test your audio. Five, blue, the, do, one, and we did the door. We did the lad. We did the happy. And breathe out the dad. Breathe in your bed. And breathe out the wood. And breathe in your bowel. Do you do it? You do food every day out the week. Nice job, Nick. Great job with that, Nick. Awesome job. Remember, Nick is in our training apprentice program. Very, very soon, Nick will be taking his final exam and doing his practical workout where he's going to have to lead an entire workout from the first sip of water to that last breathing motto. So that's coming up soon for Nick. But right now, let's go ahead and get our workout going with our head movement. So you can see we got these yoga people around me, and I'm going to be moving my head all around the screen here where I'm going to bring it down, bring my chin over this way and my ear and bringing it up. 
now you can see I'm not quite going around in a full circle. I'm doing about a half a circle. Now, if you're doing this one and you're doing a full circle, you want to go nice and slow. Remember, this is the first exercise of our workout. Great job, Carla. There you go. Byron, nice. Tyler, good job. We're moving our head around nice and slowly to get it warmed up. We'll do about two more of these, and then we will go to our side to side. All right. All right, let's look around here. Let's go a little side to side. So I'm looking this way. We're moving my chin to my right shoulder. And then I'm going to go over to my left shoulder. Look at this person. She's on her head over here. Oh, my gosh. That's a difficult move. I don't know if I can do that. I'm turning my head back to the right side. And you're going to feel a stretch in your neck when you do this. That's where you're going to stop right there. You're just going to hold that little bit of a stretch. I'm going to feel it right here. I'm going to also feel it on the back behind my ear. Let's go ahead and bring that head again over right side to left side. And you can move at your own speed. You don't wanna do this one fast, but if you wanna hold it on one side for maybe three seconds or so, that's okay. Let's do two more of these. You can see Nick's, he, he's giving himself a bit of a countdown and you can do that yourself. You can do these exercises anytime during the day. And just like Nick, you can see he's given himself about a five second countdown. Good job, Nick. Now let's go down and up. Down is where we're gonna, we're gonna bring our chin down and then we're gonna lift our chin up high. We're also lifting our head up high. And you can see again, Nick is giving us a countdown. Nick, go ahead and do the next countdown out loud. Five, four, two, one, the down. Nice job. Up. Five, one, down. Up. Five, one, one more. And five, one, one. Nice job. I was hoping for some slow speed stuff there, Nick. You were reading my mind. There's the first yeah. time this workout that Nick has read my mind. And remember, when you're working out, you can slow things down. And that's going to help you with focusing and really having some maybe endurance in an exercise or maybe having some more uh, extra concentration with an exercise. So next up, we are going to be doing, what is that? We're going to do the ear. We're going to do go giraffe. You do an ear lift? Ew. All right. So with that ear lift, we're trying to lift our ear up to the sky. And I'm going to feel a stretch on the same side of my neck. So if I'm lifting my right ear and I'm pushing down on my right shoulder, I'm not pushing on it. I'm just thinking about going down with it. I'm going to feel a stretch on that right side of my neck. Now, if I go slowly over here to the left side and you can see, look, my head just kind of went up on my shoulders going down and I feel a stretch on the left side of my neck. And now watch, I'm going to bring my head. I'm almost thinking more about lifting the ear than I am tilting my head. My head's going to tilt a little bit, but it's more about trying to get, I'm trying to get that ear up there to where that girl's head is. Oh, I can't get it. And I'm going to try again now with the other ear. So switching over, let's go. Last one here for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Now we got one more for the neck. We do our neck with five exercises because it is so important that we prepare this area of our body for our workout. What's our last one, Nick? He's doing it. No, 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 no. Giraffe neck, turtle head. So we're reaching out with our neck, all right? So this is me, I'm gonna sit sideways for this one. All right, and I got my body lined up with this yoga girl right here. Now, here we go. So I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna try to keep my shoulders back. Just my chin's going out and then I'm gonna bring it all back. And remember, it sounds funny now when I talk because I'm getting my vocal cords. And then when I reach out with my head, there we go. I'm trying to stretch my neck. I'm trying to lift my head out up off my shoulders using the muscles of my neck. They support the head. They're really awesome muscles. They do a lot of good things for us. They protect us. They give us mobility. They allow us to turn our head around and sometimes to be prepared to be able to 
take action. We can move our body. We can move our head and that will tell our rest of our body kind of where to follow. Those neck muscles are super important. Let's go one more turtleneck. Hold it in. Hold it in. And relax. All right. Remember, so we were working out our neck with those exercises. You might know at home, if you've been working out with us for the last two years, you probably know what's coming up next. If you don't know, you might shrug your shoulders and say, I don't know. I don't know. That's the I exercise. Don't know. So you do know because the next exercise is the I shoulder shrug. So if you're thinking, I don't know about a good exercise to do, we just did one right here. We're working out our trapezius. We're moving our shoulder blades. Oh my gosh, in, the, in my back. We got to move those guys around. If you think about your ribs, they don't move around too much. They can, they move around. If you think about the bone in my arm here, it doesn't, it doesn't move around a whole lot. It can kind of rotate. I can rotate that bone. But when you think about your shoulder blades, your scapula, they can move around in so many directions. I'm going to turn around so you can see. They can move around in so many directions. So remember, everybody, my shoulder blades, are right here. I'm touching them right there. And if you can reach behind your back, you can touch your shoulder blades too. And so when I move my arms around, I'm moving those shoulder blades. They're just floating in there. All around that shoulder blade is nice soft tissue. And that's going to allow them to go up. I can bring them backwards. I can go just up and down. I can bring them forwards and backwards. I can squeeze them together. Remember Carrie's bear hug, where we squeeze in here. We reach back, we squeeze those shoulder blades. And then when we go here, the shoulder blades move off to the side. So again, all of these exercises, really great exercises for working out our upper back. And when we're working out our upper back, we're really helping to kind of balance out that technology time that's going to have us forward and kind of hunched over, maybe looking at our phone or a tablet, something real small. We weren't designed for that. We weren't, tablets and phones only been around for a little while. Our body and muscles have been around for a great long time before that. And we got to think about that when we're doing our exercises. Got to move that body around. Can you guys hear all the racket here? Mm -hmm. It's loud. That's all right. All right we got to do arms or we're going to go elbows? I'm good, good. You're going arms before elbows today. Nick's throwing us for a little switcheroo, and that's okay. We got those arms out there, extended out, far out there, reaching out to the side. Hey, Ben's mom, we got our arms out here. Maybe I'm going up and down with them. Maybe I'm just doing a little pelican flight, just doing a little bit of up and down. I like the up and down. That's going to really work out your deltoids. It's also going to really work out your trapezius. You can see Nick's going in front of his body. I like this one too. It's crunchy, cheesy poofs, regular and barbecue. Oh, I'm going to go with uh, barbecue, cheesy poofs. Barbecue. Ben, Nick wants barbecue also. He's chips. Yeah. And also, can I get a pickle? Okay. Can I order Nick wants to check out the whole menu. Remember, everybody, with. With our arms, we can also go over our head with our arms. You, I like this one doing it one at a time. Remember, and sometimes I might even have a, I might lean my body over. So if I was standing up doing this arm circle, remember I could go straight up high and move my arms around, but I might even do something like this where I'm just kind of leaning over, moving my body. I got my arm resting here. Maybe not, maybe it is. And then I can switch up to the other one, move it around. What this is going to do is, is going to help to open up some space in my shoulder. If I'm going up right here, there's, there's not a lot of room for that arm to fit right in there. But when I turn a little bit, I can still move it around. And remember, with arm circles, the one we don't do a lot of, but they are good, is down low. Remember, down low. We don't do a lot of down low circles. So here I have my arms just down to the side. I could start with doing an arm swing. Now, if you're sitting down and you don't want your arm, you could do an elbow swing. Let's try a couple of those out. We're just, this is some new stuff, Nick. Well, it's not new, but, it, you know, we're just kind of bringing it in. So we got that yeah. elbow, elbow swing going. That could be an arm swing where I'm just swinging my arms down the side. And then I could also do, I could do my arms kind of out to the side. We call this one the penguin. 
This one it looks like. Don't I look like a penguin here? With my mm -hmm. arms up and down. That's what penguins do. They do this. All right. But I can also do the circle. So we got some movements over here. One thing else I like to show people, and we looked at this before, if I had something like the ball or a chair, even if I was in a sitting down position, I might be able to lean forward and have my arm kind of hang out here. And I'm doing a circle with my arm just relaxing in gravity. And it's just kind of, I'm not, I'm not real tense with it. I'm just letting it hang out. Ooh, listen to that. Sounds like an airplane taking off. Remember, everybody, I used to work, I used to work at a great, great big airport for the Navy. And sometimes you'd be talking and then you just have to stop talking because the airplanes are taking off and you wouldn't be able to hear anything that anybody was saying. All right. So let's go ahead now. Let's bring up those elbows because I like, I like getting those elbow movements in. I'm just going to go with some free movement on the elbows. And I want you at home to think about that too. Let's do it. If you're sitting next to somebody, don't hit them. Make sure you're not going to bump them with the elbow. And if you are, you might have to keep them in the front like this. This is a good core workout right here because, look, I'm stretching my abdominals. And then when I crunch back down, I got them crunched here and I got them stretched here. So this would be a nice seated core workout where I'm working with my elbows as the focus. But imagine working out your elbows and you're also working out your core. You're working out these core muscles right in here. If you stretch your muscle, if you stretch it, it'll respond. It's a really neat thing about the body. And if you stretch it, it'll respond. You can see Nick, he's going with the upper back. He's reaching up here and he's actually doing a tricep stretch. Now, if this one's real difficult, you might just try to reach up, try to get your hand maybe up here on top of your head, maybe behind your head here, maybe even on your shoulder. And then if you can bring your arm up, is there anybody doing this in our yoga thing? Is it? Nope. She, what is that? Doing, holding her foot. None of these. Oh, this girl's kind of got her hand behind her head like that. So let's reach up. And then it looks like Nick did a switch. He's switching out. Sometimes well, we focused on this more in the APE, the, the, this type of stretch, because it, it, it was more of a focus on the tricep stretch. Yep. This is good for the tricep. It's good for right here in our armpit. Remember, our armpit, there's a whole lot of muscles here. If you grab your armpit right now and you give it a squeeze, you're squeezing muscles. And those muscles sometimes, in a lot of us, they're not as strong as some of the muscles on top. Now, imagine if I was doing the same movement. I'm a surfer. If I was doing the same paddling movement and that was all I did, that could add up to where there's not a balance in my shoulder. And so that's why we're doing a lot of these workouts. That's why you would have done that in PE. This one's a good stretch for the shoulder here. And you can do this one before a workout. This one's kind of a, a post-workout exercise. This one's kind of like almost when you're finished up with a workout um, or if like just throughout the day, you're going for some stretches, you can kind of move that arm around. Now you can see now Nick's going, he's like, you know what? Let's not move the arms at all. Let's just move our upper body. So again, we got to think about our, our hips and where we're moving our rib cage. I'm, I'm leaning back. You can see Nick, he's going side to side, forward and backwards. And he's also doing rotations. There's a circle. You can see, you can follow Nick around and you can see he's going in that circular fashion. He's making a circle with his body in the air. Think if you could see the air around you, you'd be moving that air as your body moves through it. You'd be moving the air around, keeping it going. Now, I think Nick was going for bringing his arms into it. So remember, bringing our arms in, that's going to get those obliques. It's also still stretching out our shoulder. This is still working out our shoulder blades, those super important upper back. Nice. This is going for the teacup. We also got that cross the body reach. Cross the body reaching. Remember, everybody, I always say it. You're going to see me do it. If you think you need to have a snack, if you need to have water or anything like that during the workout, I want you to feel like you can take a break. We're doing the coffee pot right now. We got our elbow against our oblique, against our side, 
and we're just tipping over. We're doing it. Nick's doing it, sitting down too. I'm going to show you if I'm standing up with this one, I'm going to put my arm here and I'm just doing a little, a little dip. It's like, here you go. Or like after you, you're like, after you, there you go. Nice. All right. Let's do one more. One more. That was nice. All right, everybody. We've been moving our, our body around. We moved our arms around our neck. We did a lot of things that were kind of independent. Nick just read my mind because now he's doing the witch's pot. The witch's pot is a combination movement. All right. When we were moving our neck, we were only moving our neck. And when we were moving our shoulders, we were only really moving our shoulders. And even our elbows, we were kind of moving our shoulders there too. And we, we worked our core. But with this exercise, we're working out all of the muscles in the body because the witch's pot, it's going to have us reach down and out. And then we go up and in. Now I have my hands together. You don't have to have your hand. You can have your hands separate like you're on a steering wheel. We're going to go down and out, up and in. If I was holding on to something, up and in. This would be a good exercise to do too. Even this great big ball, I would go down and out, up and in. Ooh, which is pot? Down and out, up and in. Moving the ball around, down and out. Nick's got his stick, up and in. Great job. Let's go. I'm going to show you with the kettlebell. Here's with this, with the, oh, where's the focus? Hey, hey, focus. Focus on me. Focus. It's looking rather blurry. What? It wants to focus. There we go. Come on. <laughs> what happened to me? I turned into like a cartoon character. I don't know. I don't know. I, I messed with the, the camera. Here. Nick's doing a great job. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Nice. Hey, welcome back. All right. Remember, if I was doing the witch's pot with this kettlebell, I'd be going down and out. Up and in. Now, remember when we talked about it, when my arms are out here with this weight, that's a lot more than five pounds of resistance on my back and on my legs. So I want to be careful with this one with the weight. I want to make sure, again, I can bring it close to home. I could hold it here for a very long time. I could not hold it here for a very long time. And I could not hold it here for a very long time at all. But if I'm doing very nice, smooth motions and I'm letting my hips have that control i should be able to do that exercise no problem let me see if i can keep that remember with an exercise stick we would be down and out up and in down and out up and in and that's a combination exercise now what nick's done is he's gone with elbow movements to work out the hips i'm gonna do the knee movements to work out the hips so remember we're moving now. We have gone from our heads, shoulders, knees, arms, core, upper body. We kind of got some of our core muscles. We'll do an ab squeeze in a minute. And right now, I'm moving my, my knees. That's what I'm thinking about. But look at all the other movement that my body is doing. All right. Why am I leaning this way? Because that's how my body knows that it can stay balanced. And it can stay in control. So when my knees go forward, my body's going to lean backwards. When my knees go backwards, look, my body's leaning forward. And so our body, because this is down where our base is, the top of it is going to fire up muscles. The top part of our body, it's going to fire up muscles to keep that body balanced. Even when I'm moving my knees, and you can see how when Nick's moving his arms around, we're also engaging that core. So now let's do a core engagement with no movement except for the squeeze, 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 and then we relax. So Nick, are you going to count it out for us? Five seconds? Yeah, five. All right, buddy. I'm, I'm going to go into a plank position, but I'm going to do a standing Me plank. Too. Are you going to do a plank on the ground, Nick? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, and you can see this, this girl here, she's doing a plank on her hands. This is the hand plank. And you can see Nick's down on the ground. You can tell because his butt's in the air. And here we go, Nick. Let's count it out. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. And back up. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do one more. Back up. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. 
And now you're not going to squeeze your tummy too hard where it's going to hurt you. You're going to give yourself just the right amount of squeeze to engage those muscles. And a lot of those muscles too, they provide support for the body, for the organs, for our structural support. And so engaging them on the deep level, on the real deep level, um, that's going to help to set up your foundation. All right, these people, it's not that distracting, but it's all right. Let's have a sip of water, everybody. We're cruising through our warm up. We're almost done. We're almost getting ready to get into some leadership here. And we might even try out one or two of these yoga poses. I don't know about this one. Probably not going to do that one um, in a couple of these. But some of these, some of these might be a fun challenge for us. I like this one here. That's a nice up. Oh, that's a nice stretch. I like this one here with the ground touch. I don't think I could do that. This girl's also touching the ground over here. So those are some good ones. What you got going right now, Nick? And then smile. Oh, we're going for a smile. Yes. I'm smiling just because of that, man. All smile right. Smile and frown. Smile and frowns. How many? Five? You will do ten. Ten smile and frowns. Get ready, yeah. everybody. This might be the only workout of its kind in the existence of YouTube workouts. We're doing smiles and frowns. Let's go, Nick. The do one smile. And brown. Smile. And brown. Smile. Brown. Smile. Brown. Nice job, Nick. You're doing great, man. I'm talking while I'm frowning. It's hard to do. Smile. Wow, and now I'm talking while I'm smiling. And that's hard to do. Because I'm focusing. Oh, not doing And you could feel that, Nick. That was awesome. You can see how whenever we are focusing on our muscles in one area, sometimes some other muscles, they're going to be affected by that. And when I was trying to talk with the frown or with the smile, that was giving me some difficulty because I was trying to focus on the movements with my face. So, again, we're training our face. We're training our muscles. And we're having that mind control over our body. Nick, let's go with uh, hands and wrists, ankles yeah. and toes. Let's do some wiggling. Let's go with the wiggling to start. Everybody, let's wiggle. We got to get the wiggle going. We can wiggle our fingers. If you can wiggle your toes, I want you to try to wiggle your toes too. If you're just wiggling them, I'm going to try to wiggle. There we go. I'm wiggling, wiggling. Get the ball out of here. Wiggling my toes, wiggling the toes, wiggling. There we go. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. And all right, let's relax from that. Now I want you to, if you're going to curl your toes up and you're going to make a fist with your hands. So we're curling them in and then we're opening them up big. You're going to open your toes up real nice and big. And then when you curl them up, you're going to curl them up like you're trying to make a fist with your toes. So squeeze your toes, squeeze your fist and then open, open, open real big, as big as we can. And then close, squeeze. I'm curling my toes. I'm squeezing my fists and open. Opening them up as big as we can. We're going to do two more of these. We're going to squeeze. We're going to bring our toes together. We're going to bring our fists together. We got to train those feet, and we're going to open them up again. We got one more time going closed. Squeeze the toes and open. All right, now we're going to do free movement. Any movement you want to do, free movement with the ankles, with the feet. After doing all that concentration, you might find that, hey, I'm a little more connected and I can do this a little bit easier. All right. Those squeezes with the toes and squeezing with your hands, that's going to get the communication. It's like your brain and your hands are talking to each other. And after they've done some conversating, you know what? They're pretty good friends again. And they can start to do all kinds of things, moving our ankles, moving our wrist, moving our fingers, moving our toes. That's what we got to do. That's how it's got to go. 
Let's go ahead and do some squats. I like having squats as part of our warm up. It's a fun one, and we might get more squats. Our friend Natalie had us doing some squats the other day. If you're sitting down, remember, we're going to be having our elbows up. And when I'm in the standing position, I'm actually going to have my elbows lifted up high. When I squat down, I'm going to bring my elbows down almost to my knees. And then I'm going to go up. We're going to do 10. There's one. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. up three. three. Down. Down. Down, up, five. Down, up, dip. Down, up, dip in. Down, up, eight. Down, and up, nine. Down, and up, and ten. Nice job, Nick. All right, everybody, let's get real close to our cameras. We got about two more exercises to go. Let's get up real nice and close, though, for this one, because next up, we're going to be doing the blinks. We are going to be blinking. And this time today, I think we're going to take it to 30. 30. Oh, my God. Don't we're going to 30. Oh we're going to start God. slow. We're going to start slow. But we're going to get that control. We're going to get that thought process. I'm not thinking about my hands or my feet or my biceps or my triceps or my quadriceps or any of that. All I'm going to be thinking about is blinking my eyes to the best of my ability. So here we go. We're going to do about 30 and go on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo! And that was a challenge. That was fun for me. Actually, I had to time my blinkings with my counting. And so again, when we're exercising, we are working out our brains, whether you're being a team leader, whether you're being a participant right now, or even if you're just watching, remember our minds are being activated and we might see things or we might get some motivation from our workout. And that might experience might go on throughout the rest of the day, the rest of the weekend, and we might be finding ourselves becoming more and more active with some of these ideas and some of these things that we're helping to improve on here. What do we got next, Nick? We got our breath hold. Yeah. And, uh, eye circles. Let's do the eye circles. Let's just do a couple of those because we just did the blinks. Let's go up and down. I got to look up there, see if I can hear what's going on. Y'all hear that? Sounds like a train is going over my head. And now I'm looking down. And then up. Uh, and then down, and then left, and then right, and then left, and then right, and a circle, and another circle, a circle, and the last circle. Nice. All right, let's get ready for that breath hold, everybody. Let's go for 20 seconds today for Friday. Remember, if you need to take that breath, you can breathe at any time. But challenge yourself. Let's go for 20 seconds. You'll be okay. And here we go. We're going to breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and hold. That was tough, Nick. Good job, man. Nick gave himself a challenge. Trying to count out while you're holding your breath is tough. And that's why I try to do it on my hand. Nick, good job on you for challenging <laughs> yourself that way. Let's have a sip of water, everybody. That was excellent. And remember, we are done with our 5K run with Cole. So we don't have a run today to do. Great job, everybody. We did that this week. We crossed that finish line with Cole. And remember, we have our race for autism race coming up on April 1st, virtual race. April 2nd is going to be our race down in Balboa Park with the National Foundation for Autism Research. It's going to be really, really cool. And I know Byron and a couple other folks, if you want to be a part of our team, let us know in the chat room. Some of you already have gotten that email and you are becoming a part of the race, TrueFit race team. Our, our team is called Team TrueFit. And remember, 
you can uh, put a message in the chat room and my mom or Ben will make sure that we uh, get your email and we can get that email to you so you can get signed up. It is going to be uh, April 1st will be our virtual race during our workout. And then on April 2nd, it's in Balboa Park. I'm going to be there from very, very early all the way probably through midday. And we're going to be doing uh, walks and runs and rolls uh, in Balboa Park to uh, be a part of our team. And Nick, if, uh, if I think you are signed up, if not, we're going to get you signed up. And there we go. We got a new email in there. Awesome. Yolanda's on the team. All right, everybody. So remember, we have that race coming up. We did some really good things there. Let's go ahead and check out. Let's go for two. Let's try to do two of these yoga poses here that we got going on. I like this one right here. I like that one. And then I think the other one we might do is we might do maybe a ground touch or maybe a toe touch, maybe something like that. So with this first one, though, what I want to do, if you're sitting down, we're going to be lifting up both arms up to our sides like this, and we're going to be leaning our body. You can see the girl down here. She's kind of got a little bit of a lean backwards. Now, if you're standing up, we are going to, this is kind of like how Byron does his lunges. All right, so I'm going to have go wide feet. Now, when I go wide feet, I can do this where my feet are narrow. That's tough. But look at this. If I go with one foot over here and one foot over here, so now I got a wider base. That's going to let me get my arms up and then do my stretch. So I'm going to lean back. I'm going to turn this way so you can see. So again, remember, I'm going to go from standing. I'm going to take one step back, and then I might take one step forward. And now here I am, and then I'm going to bring my arms up. Maybe my palms go in, and I'm going to push my hip this way. And if you're sitting down, I want you to think about arms go up first, and then ribs go up. And we're going to hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. And you're going to feel a stretch through your hip and through your abdominals right here. So now let's switch up. I'm going to have the other leg go backwards. Again, we're, we're trying to do what this girl's doing down here. All right, so I got my leg back here. Now, remember, this is that narrow stance. Whoa, whoa, I'm going to fall over. Wide stance. I'm going to be strong. So I got my wide stance here. All right, we're going to bring our arms up, but that's not all. I got to lift and tilt my body, push my hip forward, lift my body up. There you go, Nick. Let's hold it. Five. Four, three, two, and one. One. Nice. All right. Now, the next one that we're going to do, it's going to be like these two right here. But I'm probably not going to do that. This is just going to be our ground touch. All right. We didn't do it during the warm up. So that's okay. We're going to get it in now. With the ground touch, I'm going to do what this girl's doing. If you're standing up, I want you to think about going wide feet. Look how far apart my feet are. Wide feet. That's going to allow me to go down to the ground and put my hands on the ground. And then I'm just going to bring myself right back up. If you are sitting down, I want you to do the ground touches how we do. Going either one hand or two hands forward and then back up or going over to the side. All right. Down to the side. So, again, you can see these girls right here are reaching for the ground. I'm going to try to do this thing here. Let's see if I can do this. So, I'm going to go. I got to put my hands on the ground, all right? And then I bring my foot up in the air. I'm trying. And then I got to fix my body. And, oh, that's tough. That's tough. I don't do enough yoga. I'm going to try it again with the other foot. So I'm doing my ground touch. And then I got my foot in the air. And then I bring my body up. And that's about all I can do because I got the stretch in my leg. And when you feel that stretch, that's what you want to go for. So again, we're using our ground touching skill of getting down low to help us not only stretch our body out. Remember, if you're sitting down, if you're reaching down, touch the ground, you are stretching out that hamstring and glute too. So we want to practice on those. All right, we might do a couple more of these throughout the next week. Let's have a sip of water. Let's go ahead and bring up a team leader. Um, Let's see. Let's get one of the, let's bring one of the girls up, Ben. Do you know, maybe Carla, or maybe Carrie or Bernie, or um, who, who do you know? 
we got ready to go. What uh, I think Carla is ready to go. I was ready to go. All right, everybody. So remember, Carla, sometimes we don't know yet, but sometimes she's got a hula hoop. Sometimes she's got a medicine ball. Sometimes she's had a band and weights. Carla, what are you we going to work out with today? The mezzo ball? I can go get it. Oh, uh, what do you want to do? Um, I can do like a exercise. Okay. Which one do you want to do? We can do um, jumping jacks. Let's do the jumping jacks. How many do let's you want to do? Let's do 20 jumping jacks. 20 jumping jacks. All right. So one, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. Nice job. Oh, wait. Are we doing 20? Yeah, I did 20. You did. I said 20. Yeah, I, I, like, I like what you did too, Carla. Remember, Carla, she went and was doing the clap jacks, which I think is a great way to do those jumping jacks if you don't want to be jumping. What's another one, Carla? I see you getting a stance. Lunge stretch. All right, so we're one. doing the. All right, so remember, if we're if we're sitting down, one. we're going to be bringing one arm up, one arm Two. down. And if we're one. standing up, we're going to have one one foot one. up and one foot down. These two are very different. One. Go ahead. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I'm seven. Doing the arm lunge. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Switch. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're gonna do the, we're gonna do the boxing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And let's nice do the, job. Let's do some squats going like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Woo! Byron, get ready. Carla, that was great. Let's have a sip of water. I'm practicing for the marathon for the for the, for the marathon. Hey, Carla, if you keep doing exercises like what you did today, I know we are going to have a great time oh. doing that. And race. I'll see you on, on Wednesday the 27th, um, Sunday the 27th. That's right, up in up here by the beach. I'm going to be right, here. We got, we got Byron here joining us byron's going to be doing the flow and um I'm, let me try to i'm gonna try to keep up with byron let me see if i can do this all right so byron remember he's got his sandbag a lot of times we watch we watch nick doing the flow with byron but nick how about you do the play-by-play -play? yeah and and, all right yeah and i'll try to do the flow with byron you know what he's i need byron, is i need a i need a picture that just looks just like your living room right there, and then it'll look like we're we're in the same spot. I'm gonna go in my box. Find right one, John, as we go forward. That's an awesome idea. All right, so Byron, I got to. All right, Nick, got to call out the play-by-play. -play. Well, uh, we in bed. There to die behind the bed. That day, with the iron behind the bed. That day, he doing that. How about they do behind the bed doing that? We did not put in the bed. We did not put in the bed. 
out and behind the bed that day. Oh, he that day? He do that do that doing that situation. Now we move him to the bed, forward, bed. You move it to the diet, you move it to the other diet. Oh, you better have on the drone. I don't know the drone. Behind the bed. The forward way. Behind the bed, that's it. Nice. Behind the bed, that's it. Switching it up. Oh. Do it out. Good day. Good day. Those good. 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 He doing the wood. He doing the wood. And he doing the wood. Leave it doing by the way. He move be bored. He move be backward. Now he straight to the arm. Doing the wood. Doing the wood. Doing the wood. Now we're doing the straw. You don't have the money to get back on. Back down. Daddy, what are you doing? Back down. I don't know. Up. <laughs> back down. And now. Don't you worry about your head. Now we don't do it. But that is thin. I don't know how it works. I'm trying my best to keep up. You're doing great, Byron. Thank you, Carla. See, they do it, but when they're done. Ooh, overhead press. Now we are doing overhead press. There you go, Nick. Keep it going. Keep doing up, bring it down. Up and down. And back to the button spin. Doing that graduation. Now we doing the middle of this door. Do oh, I do that you don't do a squat at the end. Um, down. Um, I'm getting background from his TV, so I'm just trying to mute him. All right. He's doing another diet. Do me. Another violent DB up. Ooh, I like that move, Byron. What are we doing, Nick? Now we are doing the backwards. Ooh. What are we oh, doing, Nick? 
You're doing great, Bob, and bring it on home. Now he doing the wedding part. Oh. He moving the way to home. Now we going down. Oh. Ooh. Doing oh. the TikTok. This is the TikTok. 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 Like a clock going back and forth. He's doing the low pot, low witch's pot. Nice job, Byron. Little Getting creative. Byron. Stirring it up. Yep. Doing a that pot. Now we're doing the do died with the forwarding. Great job, Byron. Great job, man. Excellent, excellent job. Let's have a sip of water, everybody. That was a great flow from Byron. He got to put on a terrific flow with the sandbag and the exercise stick. Now, remember, the exercise stick that Byron's got, that weighs 10 pounds. So if you're at home and you're thinking, I want to be able to do the flow with Byron, but I don't have an exercise stick or a sandbag, Remember, we show you how you can make that stuff. Uh, you just got to go and you got to look on the app. What you got, Bernie? I like your new haircut. Thank you. Are you ready to do some leadership? I'm here tonight, okay? For, um, in Georgia tonight, six. Okay. That sounds then, wonderful. Um, tomorrow night, I'll be at, tomorrow night, I'll be um, at Hannah's house. Oh, that sounds so great. And remember, everybody, Bernie's talking about tonight's Fitness Social, where we're going to get to watch some of the footage from the last Waves for All. And our buddy Austin from All Wheels Access, he's going to be on there sharing with us another video from that desert trip out in Akatia Wells. Bernie, we got enough time. Let's do the jumping jacks, and then let's do the weight. Remember, last time you got to do the stick, and then we still got to do the weight. Let's do jumping jacks first. Let's do jumping jacks first. Yeah. How many do you want to do? Fifty-five. All right. All right, everybody. I'm going to be doing a front clap jack. All right. I'm going to jump, but I'm going to clap in front of my body. All right, Bernie. Here we go. All right. Four. Three. Two, one, go, Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Nice job, everybody. That was, I felt like we were in like a dance party. Did it feel like we were at a dance? 1.30. One thirty. nice job. And everybody, I want you to think about real quick while Bernie's grabbing her weight. When I was doing those jacks, I was doing an external rotation with my shoulders. And so again, I'm working out that, that back, working out my scapula every single jumping jack I do. So that's a great way to get some extra stuff in for your back. Bernie, you're gonna to try to do the stick and the weight? I don't know if we're gonna have time. You wanna do one with the stick? 
one with the stick and one with the weight? We can do that. Let's do one with the stick. What do you want to do with the stick? Okay, let's go for that. So Bernie's doing the marching band, count loud, baton spin. Four, Nice job. Carla, what is that? Hold that up. What do you got there? Carla is being super creative right now, everybody. I saw that. And my butter, my my butter, my brother Christopher. Carry on. Christopher, I saw you moving good, man. Great job, my friend. Christopher in the house. I love when he's joining us. He was just getting, and remember, a lot of these exercises, you can use your imagination for them. I saw Qtar7, she was doing a great job. And Nick, Nick was also using his imagination for that one. Bernie's going into the back stretch. She's going for two stick exercises. So if you don't have a stick, we're just going to be doing a forward lean. All right. Nice job, Bernie. And now she's going and she's got her exercise weight. And remember, Bernie has a kettlebell similar to this one here. If you're looking for something as a gift, maybe you got a birthday coming up or something like that. You got some holiday money. Go to a discount store. Get yourself one of these for like five I bucks. I would do a Statue of Liberty. Statue, Statue of Liberty. All right. So we got to reach down. We got to light the fire. This is going to be our torch. I'm going to do it with one hand. Here we go. Light the fire. Four. Lift it up. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Ooh, six. Nice. Bernie switching hands. Seven. Seven. I like that switcheroo. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. I don't think we're done. Eleven. Eleven. We're not done. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Here we go. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Great job, Bernie. Let's have a sip of water. And um, great, great job, Ben. Did we have anybody? Else, who's going to be doing that breathing motto at the end of today's workout? I think it was going to be. Um, I it think so, so. I think because we had um, Chris join late. Let's have Chris do it. Let's do it. Let's get Chris. Uh, is he on? All with right, Bernie, let's have Chris audio? do it. Okay, Bernie, you you Not can to uh, we'll you speak off, on there to tonight. I'm going to be there tonight. Then, okay, you got That's it. Fine. Absolutely. Thank you tonight. Great job, Bernie. Great haircut. Great leadership. And we well, got my Chris buddy. Still do it. Where's my buddy, Chris? He I'm is. Gonna get him up here. I'm going to bring him up. There he is. There's my good friend. Hey, man. Welcome, my friend, Chris. We're not in the studio side by side, but we are right here next to uh, each other. Hold on, John. Let me, let me bring you up. There's a video. Look, me and Chris here uh, in the studio. And we got time for this. Thank you, Karen. Karen's watching that. Time for us too. So grateful for our friends and our team leaders, all of our team leaders. Some of our team leaders are working behind the scenes. Okay, so we got some of our team leaders. We don't see them as much during the workouts, but they are there and they're behind the scenes helping myself, working with my mom, working with us to make this the best we can make it. Chris, how are you doing, man? You got to get your space bar, right? Hit your space bar, Chris. Hold the space. He just did a countdown. Yeah, Chris, let's do it. Follow me. Breathe in good. Oh, hey, here she comes. Nice. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Take your time. Take your time. Thank you so much. Let's make sure we can hear you, Chris, nice and loud. She's coming from the other room. 
stopping what she's doing to help us out, everybody. This is the kind of help and the love and the friends that we have out there helping us with these workouts. We got you, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. How are you, my Five, friend? Four, three. Go for it, Chris. Breathe it. Five, five, four, three, two, one, go. Breathe in the good. Breathe in the good. Breathe, Breathe out the bad. bad. Breathe in the happy. In the happy. Breathe out the sad. Breathe in your best. Breathe out the worst. The worst. And breathe in your power. Power. So that you can be for every day, every moment. Yes, reach those goals every day. Let's go. Nice job, man. Excellent job, Chris. And to everybody who was on this workout. That was so great. I'm so glad Chris could be here with me, working out with us, with our team. We have so many of our friends. Remember, we went from head to toe. We worked out every muscle in our body, including our brains, our hearts, our mind power. Remember, we are getting stronger as a team. And I'm so proud of all of you who have been working out with